13-year-old Jacinto is in custody due to issues of physical abuse. On several occasions, he was spanked with an extension cord on his bare bottom and legs, and he witnessed domestic violence between his biological parents. Jacinto has two siblings, Elena, who is 10 years old, and Eduardo, who is 8. Pues siempre sigue pasando. ¿Qué no, diablo está pasando contigo? No, no, ya, ya. O sea, ¿qué, ¿qué pasa con este video? Sí, ¿Qué pasó con él? No, 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 tú siéntate ahí, siéntate, cálmate. Ya me cansé de eso, ya no right quiero there, más. Okay? No, where no are you going más. with this video? Huh? ¿A dónde vas? Déjame, okay, suficiente. No, no, ¿qué no, pasa no. contigo? ¿Qué pasa Déjame. contigo? No, no. ¿Qué Déjame. pasa? ¿A dónde no vas? ¿A dónde vas? No ¿Qué? más, no, no, no. no. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Studies show that children who are exposed to domestic violence exhibit significantly more problems than children who are not exposed. The emotional climate of the home can and does influence the child's behavior. These children may use violence themselves. Hola, ¿cómo ni? ¿Cómo ni? Good to see you. How you doing? I'm good. Hey, okay, just go to the right and go to the last room down there in the hallway, okay? okay? Gracias, gracias. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, come on in. Come on in. Jacinto, ¿cómo está? ¿Qué pasa, amigo? You doing okay? All right. Good, 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 good. Good. Hey, just, we're going to make yourself at home, okay? Okay? Hey, hey, Jacinto. Listen, I, I, I know this, this is not your regular house and everything, and you miss your friends and whatnot, okay? But it's my house, it's my casa. We'll be safe, all right? When Jacinto and his siblings were first placed with Jacinto's maternal uncle, things were going well, and Jacinto followed parental requests easily. Lately, however, Jacinto has been engaging in behaviors that appear to invite abuse from his caregiver. Specifically, Jacinto has been violent towards his younger brother and sister by picking fights with them. In each instance, Asento's uncle, Alejandro Francisco, tried removing privileges, but it has not worked. He recently pushed his sister down while they were playing outside, resulting in a broken arm. Ow! What? Ah, you hurt my arm. Get up. I can't. Oh my gosh, you're being a baby. No, I'm not. What's wrong? You hurt my arm. Are you serious? Yes. Look at you. Gosh. You're fine. No, I'm Elena, not. you okay? No. I think what happened, huh? Why she, she on the ground, huh? You do this? She tripped. We were playing Don't soccer. Don't tell me she tripped, Jacinto. We were playing soccer and she tripped. Playing? This is you look like a game to you, huh? We John, I'm okay? No. Oh my gosh. Move, okay, move your fingers. Move your fingers. Hurt? Oh. Okay, just these are for just a little bit. We're gonna get you some help, okay? We'll get you taken care of. When children temporarily lose control with others, you need to move in to provide the control. Many children from the system have a hard time with internal control and need the help of adults when escalating out of control. Removing the child from a situation is the first step. Eduardo, Elena, I need for you to leave for just a moment, please. Let me talk to Jacinto by himself. Um, Jacinto, uh, I'm afraid that I owe you an apology. Por qué? Because, Jacinto, it's, it's my job to take care of your brother and your sister and you, okay? And had I been keeping a better eye on you two or while you out there playing, maybe Elena wouldn't have been hurt. Look, I told you, it was an accident. I didn't mean to hurt her. Mira, Jacinto, I don't know what happened between your, your, your mother and, and your dad while you were living with them, okay? But I can see that you're angry inside, all right? And sometimes you take it out on them. And I just can't let that happen. So what? Are you going to beat me? No, no, I'm not, I'm not. No, I'm not going to beat you, amigo. A house should be a place where you feel safe, OK? And in this house, everyone is safe, including you. But until you can learn to get your anger under control, I feel that maybe you should not be with your brother and your sister sometime. Just separate it. At least while I'm not in the room. That means that a veces, por ejemplo, uh, sometimes you, you can't sit with them at the table. You have to sit away from them at the dining room table. Or when you're in the, the living room, you just need to sit on the other side. And you'll also need to sleep in a different bedroom. Look, 
You don't have to get in trouble to get my attention. If you want my attention, just ask for it. Okay. Mira, este fin de semana. This weekend, after you visit with your parents on Saturday, okay? We can, your brother and sister, they can go and they can play with the neighborhood kids. And then after that, if you want to, uh, you know, we can just have some bonding time, some time to hang out. You know, just the guys. Some, do something special. Stop in. Yeah. Fine. Okay. After talking to Jacinto, Mr. Francisco calls the children's parents to inform them of the incident and how he is handling the situation. He, is he seem frustrated about anything? Um, just everything that is going on, he, it affects him a lot. Understand, understand. When a situation arises that requires you to discipline children, it is important to act with as much confidence as you can because children from the system can be intimidating. This can be a difficult task. Remember that when children are misbehaving, they are looking to adults to set the limits. Hey, Jacinto. Uh-uh, Jacinto. No, no, no. No, what I tell you? I tell you, I'm serious. Give him the knife. Let them make their sandwiches first. After that, then you can make your sandwich. Okay, now go ahead. Although Saturday is to be Mr. and Mrs. Hernandez's first unsupervised visit with the children since they were placed in custody, Mr. Francisco suggests that Jacinto not be left alone and unsupervised with his siblings because of Jacinto's aggressive behavior. After their visit, Mr. Francisco keeps his promise to Jacinto by sending the two younger children to the neighbor's house to play. Hey, see you later. And hey, you'll stay out of trouble. At least in our... I need for you to go in and put on something grubby. Meet me back out here in 10 minutes. We're going to work on this car. It is important for resource parents to be mindful that some children in the child welfare system who have experienced domestic violence or physical abuse can have a distorted assumption about how the world operates. Donde estabas, huh? Perdón. It took you long enough. It's about time you got out here. Sorry. Listen, I need for you to give me that cord over there. Hand motions and some actions may trigger flashbacks of violent episodes. Children from the system sometimes have a hard time getting close to and trusting caregivers. No, I need for you to plug it up. Oh. Spending one-on-one -on -one time with children that may be misbehaving can help decrease negative behaviors. Gracias. Okay, I want you to take this wrench right here, and I want you to loosen up these butt right here. These that one? one. Uh -huh. Successful yeah. resource families keep going when the honeymoon period is over. Yeah, there will yeah. be Go times ahead. when tempers will rise, but there resource families job. trust themselves not to act on that anger. They accept the new complications in their lives. Most of all, they have the ability to maintain balance in their lives.